Hello YouTube, thank you for stopping by. This video documents the steps I took to make some sodium silicate, also known as water glass, which is basically a high temp adhesive. I wanted to make some myself to see just how much time and effort was involved, so this was basically just a test. I was using this sodium silicate to make some perlite based refractory insulation aggregate, which was uh, another test. While I wasn't going to use this aggregate inside an actual forge this time around, I was going to use it as an insulating layer in the top shelf of the cart that I mounted my Devil Forge to. There's a four-part video series where I document the steps I took to get my new forge prepped, mounted to the cart, hooked up to a couple propane tanks, and fired up for the first time, so be sure to check that out. The part that I omitted from that series was the making of the sodium silicate, or water glass itself. Spoiler alert, when, in retrospect, I consider the amount of time, effort, and toxic fumes involved, it is now my opinion that the best course of action is to simply purchase the pre-made stuff. Seriously. Anyways, I hope you like the video. If you do happen to enjoy this video, please click like and be sure to watch some of my other videos as well. I would really appreciate it if you would also click on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. And if you would like to get email notifications anytime that I publish a new video, be sure to click on the bell-shaped notify button. Okay, let's make some sodium silicate. So I'm getting ready to make this uh, sodium silicate, also known as water glass. It's a uh, high temp adhesive. To make this, I need um, 200 grams of lye or crystal drain opener. That's the stuff here. I need 300 grams of silica gel, which comes in the form of this uh, silica gel catheter, as well as 500 milliliters of water. Just happens to be how much water is in one of these bottles. Um, it creates a chemical reaction that's self-heating up to a point. Once that heat uh, dies down, then I'm going to put the pot on the, uh, on the burner and uh, finish dissolving it. First thing I'm going to do is measure out the lye. Uh, 200 grams makes uh, about 7 ounces. I'm probably going to triple uh, this amount. So, uh, yeah, time to start measuring. You always want to make sure that you're using your PPE or personal protective equipment. Uh, I've got goggles on and I've got gloves. This lye is uh, pretty nasty stuff. You don't want to be breathing it, so uh, as long as it's uh, not very uh, dusty, I won't use uh, the respirator just yet, but once it starts cooking and making fumes, I'll be putting on this respirator.
Well, I probably should have kept better track of the amount of time I spent making that batch of sodium silicate. It was well over two hours, probably closer to three. All of that time and effort for a little more than a quart of water glass. I didn't have enough to make the amount of perlite aggregate that I needed for the forge cart, so I bought a couple gallons of this Rutland cement floor sealer from Amazon. It was about 30 bucks a bottle and well worth it in my opinion. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment. Be sure to click like if you enjoyed the video, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notify button. That way you'll get notifications when I post my next video. Bye for now.